So I wanted to make a side video, as usual. Now the past two blogs I made, I've made critiquing white nationalism, which is something that I want to first and foremost let you guys know that I like white hegemonics. I like white homogeneity. I'm not about this diversity lifestyle. That's not me. However, with white nationalism, there's elements of a victim ideology, there's neo-pagan ideologies, which some would argue is a very Jewish creation. And there's a lot of white things added to white nationalism that aren't Western. I know that I've said that Western civilization is a pseudonym for white civilization. It's also a pseudonym for Faustian civilization, for the civilization that whites created that no other civilization can ever accomplish or surpass. Hold on, that's my dad. Yeah, you're downstairs, right? Alright. Alright, alright, I'll ask him. Now, I have to return to suit for yesterday's prom and this morning's after prom. But anyway. So that's that, and then I did go into the Jewish question a little bit. So those are my two blogs. Now what I want to talk about is Alice in Chains, the rock band. I want to explain that why I like the rock band. And the best way to explain why I like Alice in Chains is if an Alice in Chains album, let's say Dirt, was written 20 years ahead, let's say to the year 2012, the message of the album would be completely different and completely shit, shitty. It'd be about how Lance Staley struggles with his self-esteem during the drug addiction and how he struggles to get empowered near the end. It'd be a completely different album. Think about the song Junkhead. The song Junkhead would of him basically saying that we are an elite race of our own stoners, junkies, and freaks. You guys just don't understand because you're living a very shallow life. That'd be a very different empowerment song for his addiction, for his lifestyle, for his degeneracy. It'd basically be a different kind of empowerment song where he says that we don't have to feel bad about ourselves. Let's just all get up and we're together. We're the stoners, the junkies, the freaks. It'd be really different, really have more of that. The riffs itself would have a different light, I bet. Also, them bones. Um, just any of Jerry Cantrell's bad romance songs would be very, very different. It'd be more about empowerment. It'd be more about struggling with your identity than dealing with others' behaviors towards you or you to them and this viciousness that's in Alice in Chains songs. Alice in Chains songs are very vicious for a reason. Like, it ain't like that. A lot of vicious wordplay, a lot of I'd say violence in these songs. That wouldn't be present in them. It'd be more about how you identify yourself, how you feel about yourself, and that'd be shit. And they don't do that, which is why their songs are good. Anyway, so that's my video. It's not very long. I'm just gonna stop recording. This is Mr. Wonka 7 and suck my dick. <laughs> I even got the headphones this time.